this is your girl Lady J from O Natural, and I am live right now. Even though I'm live, you can catch this a recap of this video on YouTube. And when you go to YouTube, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. So today I'm coming to talk to you about the black soap. So we have what people think is black soap, and we have the natural African black soap. Let me take this plastic off. Got my gloves on here. Uh, it's a little messy. Uh, so this is activated charcoal soap and the color is black. And this is African black soap from Nigeria. You will see these in many different health food stores. And this is made, which is the activated charcoal soap, is actually, and we talked about this last week or the last episode, uh, activated charcoal and it's derived from coconut. I'm keeping it in here because it gets kind of messy. It gets all over your hands and it puffs up and it, you know, it's really messy, but um, you can see it's on my glove. But this is the activated charcoal. Even though it's black, this is not black soap. This is actual black soap. It's brown, but it's actually black soap. That's the name that it has been given from Africa. Both of them are derived from taking um, shells or this is from cocoa pods, shea cocoa pods. This is from um, uh, why, why do I have a blank right now? Um, but this is from ash from cocoa pods. This is ash from coconut shells. They take the ash, they put it together, and that's how they create it. So this is ancestrally made. It doesn't have it doesn't have to go through any process. So how this was made, it doesn't go through any process. And the black activated charcoal was created because there was due, due to the trade, it was hard to get the black soap in. So what they did over in America or in the EU was create something like the black soap which is the activated charcoal soap. They both do the same thing. They're both good and nourishing for the skin. However, they're good for the oilier skins because they detoxify. So they go in, they get the free radicals out, they detoxify everything, and they pretty much dry you out. But what All Natural Brand Concepts has made is a liquid version of the black soap. So you already know that we have this, but this is a liquid version of the black soap. And it goes through quite a process. So to make this black soap liquid, you need some water. Uh, I warmed it up a little bit to make it a little quicker and I used distilled water. If you can see that, distilled water, here we go. And um, I just cut a chunk off. This is from a different um, block, it's not from that block. And it bends quite easy. And you just break it up and you put it in the water. Um, whatever reason, I forgot <laughs> my spoon. But I do have a little measuring cup here. Break it up, you put it in the water, and it will start to dissolve. Now, because there is natural shells and cocoa pods and things in here, it can be used as an exfoliant because it is still in there. So what you have to do is strain this when you get ready to turn it into this liquid. So once you do this for a while, it can sit, you can put a cover over it, wrap it up, walk away from it, leave it for a day or two. I do it in big jars like that and I let it sit for, for a day or so just in the water and just let it do its own thing. It will dissolve and it will do its thing. And as you see, even as I do that, it still creates some nice little suds and foam for you. So it is already naturally like that. I cannot do that with this soap. So you can see it's already naturally like that, but you do have to strain this. In a matter of time, we're not going to strain it. So this is what it looks like when it's done. It has no residue in it. And what we do is that we add some oils. I do avocado oil. I do almond oil. Both of them are very good nourishing to the skin. And just to make it a little thicker, because as you see here, it's very runny. And you can use this for anything, but it's dry. It's drying. So people with normal skin, if, if they want to use that, I mean, it will dry you out. So if you're oily, but you like the black soap, and you say, oh, I like black soap, but I don't like the, how it makes my skin feel because it's dry, I add these oils to it. And to make it just a little thicker for you, I put xanthan gum in it. This is also vegan, keto-friendly. You can eat it, and I told you, if you can eat it, you can put it on your skin. So we have xanthan gum, and you'll find this in various different um, vegan food recipes. And when you're finished, 
after you strained it, you start out with it like that, and your end process is like this. And because they are natural products, they tend to be different colors. So both of these were done today. This one is a little darker than this one. And as you see, because of the xanthan gum, it is totally different viscosity, as you can see. Totally different. We added the xanthan gum, and it's nice and thick for you. This, when you do it, you can see it's totally different. So this is what we make for you, O Natural Brand Concepts. When you find us at onaturalbrand.com, you will look up and you will find African Black Soap. And that is new to what we were bringing to you today. And we're also, next episode, you'll see the uh, sugar scrub. So I also have the sugar scrub for you as well. So this is what I bring to you live. You want to check more, you want to see this again, check us out on YouTube at O Natural Brand Concepts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and if it's not for you, don't forget to share it. Thanks, and see you at the next video. And don't forget, black excellence. And with the black, black soap, black thing, black, uh, black soap, activate charcoal soap, and black excellence. GMB clothing. See you again.